the prime minister has just announced that the country will have its first chief of defense staff now that is a major major reform in the defense sector so to say it's popularly billed as a higher defense reform now what does a chief of defense staff mean the chief of defense staff will be a single point reference for the prime minister the government on military matters especially on logistics on training on procurement and so on and so forth why is this important because today as the prime minister when he was referring you know or announcing this said that there is a need for joint manship every force today tries to procure to train to you know equip itself separately there is a lot of duplicity in that and therefore not only that uh, the advice that goes up to the political leadership is therefore also not uniform in very many cases and therefore the need for a chief of defense staff had been felt for a very very long time this is not the first time that we are getting to hear about this concept in fact this concept was you know in a way first or in a way first came into the public domain or narrative when the kargil when we just came out of the kargil war and the government then government the atal bihari vajpayee government had appointed the subramaniam committee the k subramaniam committee had come back to the government with the, with recommendations the one of the primary of which or one of the most important of which was appointing a chief of defense staff subsequent to that there have been a lot of discussions back and forth and and you know whether to appoint not to appoint there was a certain amount of reluctance in the political leadership to appoint a chief of defense staff uh defense analysts say that you know that the political leadership then or political leadership largely was not very comfortable with handing over so to say all the powers or the three forces reporting to one man uh who is also from the forces then uh came the yogesh chandra committee it also looked at or reviewed the in, in entire defense uh security structure in india it also again suggested that we need a chief of defense staff in the last government we know that there was a very very serious thought that was given to you know as to whether or not and how do we have a uh, 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 chief of defense staff mr manohar parikar the then defense minister was pushing this case very strongly but then mr Ma manohar pa parikar left and back went back to goa as a chief minister it appeared that uh, you know the the concept of chief of defense staff had lost its main backup today the prime minister has announced that the country is going to soon going to have a chief of defense staff what would that mean apart from training apart from coordination apart from more synergy apart from more equipments being bought or being looked at through the same lens the same prism because mind you the kitty for the government today or kitty for the defense forces allocated to the defense forces remains rather small there are competing demands on the revenues or the or the kitty that is available to the government you have to spend on defense you have to spend on roads you have to spend on healthcare so on and so forth so therefore you need so to say somebody a one point uh, you know reference for the government who will continuously assist inform and help the government take its decisions on critical defense issues